Previously on Apprentice A. To Apprentice A Productions Incorporated oh, yeah. and Buffer Festival Incorporated. We're a, a real business now. Holy cow. <laughs> Pepper that's in the olive. <laughs> So fascinated. Sripia, what was that? What was that? What just happened? She's kind of nervous. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. So all year, and I mean the, like the past week, uh, whenever you're on Facebook, everyone's like, oh, it's 2015, back to the future, back to the future, back to the future, 2015, 2015, back to the future, blah, 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 blah. We've been working on Buffer the past couple days and sorting out the dates. We announced the dates, actually, at the Buffer Festival Gala. It's not a secret anymore. October 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 2015. So, I was looking at this Back to the Future article and noticed that the Back to the Future 2 day, where they go to the future, is October 21st, 2015. And so we're sitting here, like, we just had this realization. Oh, we'll play the clip. Here's the clip. When are we? We're descending toward Hill Valley, California, at 4.29 p.m. on Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. 2015? <laughs> 2015? 2015. That's, <laughs> That's one day before Buffer. So then I turned to the group and I was like, what if Buffer was just another day longer? And we, it just, <laughs> it's just a long, because we, there's only one October 21st, 2015. You're right. That's yeah. not an annual thing. That's a once only thing. So we got to figure out how to do a back to the future something at Buffer Festival. Like get Michael J. Fox. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to be busy Floyd. that day, right? Because there's only one day for them. <laughs> so I'm sure the studios... They, they probably have something. Yeah, they're probably books. <laughs> I think if you have a time machine, you have to many Oh, days Brock, work. get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder, I wonder, because they're both alive, I wonder what the studio... Like, they're obviously they're going to do mm. something. They should make a sequel. The Nike shoes? They should reshoot the movie shot for with shot. shot for shot with wow. old them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but but it's still the same movie. They should just re-edit it and put Buffer in there because it's gonna happen at the same time. They're so at they, Buffer. They go to they Buffer. They can go to Buffer. Yeah, they can go and just sit in the So theater, 30 years the, ago. The whole plot's ruined, but <laughs> 30 years ago when they went to the future, it's it was it's during this upcoming buffer. It doesn't look anything like the future they predicted. I hope they have their except for the shoes. <laughs> except for the shoes. Nike or we shoes. dress up like how they dress up mm. in the future. Mm. And buffer. Nice. The question so is, where did we go wrong? Leaves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're at my favorite place. I have apple cake. Yep. I have my camera ready to go. Yep. Except that you are not filming, so it's okay. Um, we are potentially we're looking at we're going to be looking at some cabinet thingies for our closet yep getting uh, those shelves getting some shelves at ikea because you've never said the actual name of the favorite place yeah please should know by now Right next to the loudest what? unit ever. Silly Corrado got chicken. You got chicken. When you're supposed to get the meatballs. No. That's what's so awesome about Ikea is the meatballs. But I got a salad and chicken and you got the meatballs. You're missing out, man. I know, but... You know, I'm trying to be keto free, so. It's meatballs. Yeah, but the sauce, which is like one of the best parts. The gravy. Yeah, the gravy. It's apparently meat free. The gravy? It's vegetarian. Uh, I don't know about that. Why would you have a vegetarian's gravy on meatballs? Because they put it on things that are not meatballs. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Chicken's better. Okay. Well, maybe the meatballs are better, but the chicken's <laughs> just what I required, so. So we have this, the IKEA flyer, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we're like, man, this little thing looks awesome. Yeah, it's it like, looks was great. 50 bucks on sale for like 42? Like, this is great. Yeah. And then um, it was like the compliment, drawers with glass front. And you're like, yeah, great, 50 bucks on sale, 42 bucks. And then we, we found it just around the corner and it's the price of one drawer. Yeah. 
is 42 bucks. So you can come and like recreate your own closet. So they want you to like use the program to create a closet and then you put in how many drawers you want and if you want like a shoe rack or like you know a insert or like a pant rack like that thing uh, and then it tallies it up so it's not 40 it's not 42 bucks for a for thing a drawer. For it's like, 42 bucks for the unit, it's 42 bucks for the drawer. For the one drawer. It looked so cool, but they only, they showed like four drawers and it was like a specific configuration. I was like, this looks awesome, like we should get this. And it's like low, so it'll fit because the height of that, our closet, our room, the ceiling is stupid and it's like- It's short. It's so lower short. than a normal ceiling. <clears throat> so based on this, it would have so, been like, Something like this would cost like 250 bucks yeah. or like 300 bucks. I was like, oh, shelves are like really like expensive. Two, two bucks for a, no shelves are like two bucks a bracket. And oh like yeah, five bucks just a for piece of a wood. piece of wood. I mean, I don't know if I'd upgrade to 50 bucks a just to, just to get a wall around it. Okay. Anyway, okay, we've moved on to the bedding section because forget those closets. Um, but I just noticed something really funny. At least it's funny to me. These are the duvet covers we have in the house. Like we have six pairs of them. Yeah, just just to, for so everything. anyone can use them at any point in time. And um, there's a nice sign stuck to it. I can help with overnight guests, <laughs> which I think is really funny. That is the exact reason <laughs> because why that we is have the them. exact reason why we have it. Kratos trying on girl shoes. Hey now. <laughs> I am non-gender specific. <laughs> I will be more than happy to wear lady shoes if they fit me properly and look just as cool. That's true. We are at Marshall's and we couldn't find any um, good shoes. We were hoping that we could find shoes because I found these boots here and they were on like super sale and it was awesome. But there's a, there's a very limited selection of boy shoes. Yeah. So we're trying on girl shoes, yay! The only problem with girl shoes <laughs> yeah. is that they're thinner. Mm, skinny, and, and you have big the have flat feet. feet. Yeah, so, so not, no good? No. No good. Mm. I tried though. I you mean, should try this one on. Uh, this studs. would look, this would look so good on you, it's man. sparkly gold heel, I'll only get it on the sparkly gold. Does that? <gasps> totally oh, is. Oh. Dude, you should try it on. No. <laughs> I wanted to not find jeans. Uh huh. Because I don't want to wear jeans anymore. Uh huh. So I found the only pair of non jeans. Okay. Like the matching style shirt. Oh dear. So, like, I don't know. What do you think of this, like, shiny black pants and this <laughs> really... shiny shirt? Oh my gosh. These were put together as a pair, so I figured, Why? you know. Why? What's wrong with shiny black pants and, uh,. You look like an Italian. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend anybody. It's just funny because he's Italian and he always talks about how he doesn't look Italian. All right, so we just finished shopping and um, I got real thirsty, <laughs> right? Because we've been out shopping. Yeah. Uh, and really also the I Ikea chicken is really salty. You know, all I had was a coffee with it, which doesn't really help hydrate. Way to go. I know. And then I was like, oh, I think in my head, I'm like, it's okay, I have a water bottle in the car. Nope. Right? Makes perfect sense. So then we went, we did all the shopping, and then I reached for the water bottle, and it's just a solid block of ice because of winter. I forgot about winter. It's not even like a little bit cold. It's like frozen, frozen. It's, frozen, it's a frozen. solid block of ice. It's been negative like 10 it's been to negative. 20 for like four days. It's been negative forever for forever. So yeah. I had to get a coffee. Basically. Said, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You only got a coffee because I wanted. Saskia dragged me. I didn't even want to go. I wanted to go home and drink water. And Saskia's like, no, we're going to the park. <laughs> I got an ice cap because I got a new jacket. It's too dark. You can't yeah, even focus on my face. Warm. Can't even focus on my I face. I don't care about your face. Focus. Yeah. Maybe the lens is fogged from being hot and cold. Uh, uh, all better. <laughs> I got a jacket and it's awesome, and I'll show you later. But I needed an ice cap because I'm really warm now. She need an ice cap because her jacket's too warm. We'll see you back at the house. Let's see the jacket. Oh, that's like, hold on, let me take a photo. How's that? Isn't that how, isn't that how you're supposed to, no? Sorry, I don't know how to vlog. <laughs> I don't know how to do things. Nice. And it's got a bunch of pockets. The yeah. pockets this way and this way. And these are real, which is like 
Yeah, not there's like no the, fake pockets. It's like a legit, yeah. like I can put stuff in it. And I have, I think this is real, I haven't tried it out. It's Canada, good. right? There. Yeah, it's a pocket. Oh, that's a pocket too. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's like Ooh. the cargo shorts of... of uh, the cargo shorts of jackets. Of jackets. Here I like I it. Love you. And it's got like the, this, the, the snow on. protection sleeve inner thing, Bob. Yeah. So when you throw snow at me, it won't go in my sleeve. Perfect. You're prepared. Oh, I love you so much. Alright, I just did the walk 3PO test. Uh, and it's freaking cold outside. This jacket keeps me nice and cozy warm. Uh, other than my face, which you can totally tell is red and kind of painful. It's windy outside. Um, but this is basically the first real jacket. I've had in like five years. I've been wearing my sweatshirt and that brown jacket for a really long time. It's just a regular sweatshirt, like the Canada outside hoodie. Uh, so finally got a real jacket and it's definitely much more comfortable and it's totally worth it. Home is where the fog is.